Welcome to the Potion Podcast, your raw look at the hospitality industry, brought to you by SHC. This week's episode is proudly sponsored by Bar Green Hullington for all your restaurant and bar needs. Visit bargreen.com for the full portfolio. What has happened, Potion? Just welcome back to another episode of the Potion Podcast. Of course, my host, Sean Sewell. Um, last week, I did a whole episode on what's going to be happening staffing crisis wise post COVID with businesses already complaining about staff shortages and minimum wage and a whole bunch of things. Um, this week, I wanted to change it up and talk about you, the actual employees. Um, Because I know a lot of you, and I had a good chat with one of my uh, kids yesterday, last night, about the changes in the industry that are coming. And this is a big one. Because a lot of people don't want to be in the industry anymore. And I don't blame you. It's a very hard industry to be. If you listened to my episode last week, please go back and do. Um, It talks about leaving the industry better than when we came in, which is what we we should have been doing for years. But COVID has sped this up and really pulled back the curtain and the blanket, if you will, on uh, just how hard it is to be in the restaurant industry as an operator, as an owner, as a manager, as a staff member, chefs, kitchen staff, dishwashers, everything. It is a hard industry to be in. So you want to make the move. You want to change the change what you do. So the one thing that I have to suggest to you, it's a super simple suggestion, and I've talked about this before about side hustles and passion. What are you passionate about? Um, this is a perfect time to start really researching e-commerce and side hustles and artwork and a lot of the things that you can do to make income, whether it be passive or not. Now. While a lot of you are wanting to change jobs all completely and go into a completely different field, some of you may have the skill set to move into a completely different field. A lot of the industry don't have that luxury of having a different skill set. A lot of industry people have been into it since they were 17, 18 years old. Um, and hospitality is really all they've known their whole entire life. And this is a big thing. Like a lot of people feel trapped. And if you're feeling trapped, don't feel like you're alone in that. There's a lot of people who feel like they're trapped in this hospitality industry. It's like hamster wheel of making minimum wage and and possibly making tips because this is really where it's really come from is that front of house back of house everybody is not aren't making tips right now in a in a substantial um sustainable way because of reduced occupancy and so on and so forth and so it's really difficult to sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel so a couple of things that i want you to look at think about what your passion is what really are you passionate about and how can you leverage that passion to turn it into a, a side hustle or a business or a money making scheme whether it be painting artwork cocktail classes there's, there's so much you can do you usually have to put your brain to it if you don't have any skill sets outside the hospitality industry my suggestion would be just to keep your job as you currently are and really focus on these passion projects that can be turned into a profit making or money making revenue making uh endeavor and this is a big thing that i i've talked about side hustles a ton i've done seminars on side hustles crying out loud but really look into how you can turn your passions into money making whether it be collecting funko pops and flipping them on ebay or garage sailing or literally anything you can possibly do um this is where you can really 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 lean into it keep the safety net of your job for right now now keep your safety net for your job right now and then lean into your passion project and spend those mornings so you might work nights finish up well right now it's 10 o'clock it's going to go back to normal like 12s and 12 days and one o'clock in the morning and stuff like that but give yourself seven hours be up at eight o'clock and start grinding out your passion project. If you don't start work till three, four o'clock in the afternoon, it gives you a full like seven, eight hours of like working your side project, working your side project, working your side project, whether it be if you're an artist and you wanna put your art on t-shirts, easy, Printify and Shopify. Um, if you wanna flip stuff from garage sales and Value Village and stuff, easy to do, eBay. Um, if you wanna start being an educator, start doing YouTube videos, start doing, like I'm literally doing this on my phone and I'll be turned into a YouTube video and a podcast. Um, so keep your day, keep your day job and lean into your passion and focus that three, six months, 12 months down the track that you can start turning money and not have to work your, your day job anymore. If you have a skill set outside the hospitality industry, I would be Googling any sort of updated uh, online courses right now. There's a ton of free online resources and online courses online right now that you can really re-hone in your skills that you may have gone to university for or you had a little site, like a day job while you were working the night job 
uh, with the, the good money and the tips and stuff, but that does, that's all gone away. So if you want to change your industry, look at the online courses and stuff like that to re-educate yourself, get caught up with what's modern and so on and so forth. Um, but that's the thing. Really at the root of all this, and this sort of is almost polar opposite to what I was talking about last week with the own operators, managers and stuff like that. Find your happy place. If COVID has taught us anything during this 14, 15 months is that being happy and finding what makes you happy is the most important thing in life. Life is too short. Now, I have perspective. I haven't lost anyone to COVID during um, this pandemic. I've been very, very lucky. My, my family's been healthy. I'm here on Vancouver Island, which is very low cases on the comparative to a lot of other parts in BC. Um, I have perspective in that, that I haven't lost anyone. But death comes quickly and you only got one life. This is not like you, you respawn like a video game or like Mario. Like this is it. So if you're feeling trapped in your job, figure out a way to get out. If you're not happy in your job, figure out a way to change it up. If you feel like you have a niggling thing, do some research. So many people don't start following their passion projects because they think it's going to be expensive or hard or difficult. Everything in life is hard and difficult. Nothing comes easy ever. Trust me. But do some research. You might be surprised just how cheap print-on-demand t-shirts are and Shopify stores are. And you can teach that stuff through YouTube. They're very intuitive uh, platforms. There is just so much. And the, the hurdles are small. But in our heads, they're big. And those are the big things that I want to try and get across. So there's my point of view. Like, if you want to change up your career post-COVID, please go read, like, listen or watch some of my YouTube videos on side hustles and how to make money on the on the side and get a plan. Before we open up everything all again, make a plan on where you wanna be, where you personally wanna be in the next 12 months. Is it in the hospitality industry? Then you're gonna to have to work really hard to keep that, that job making money and so on and so forth because the industry has definitely changed and it's gonna to continue to change for the next 12 months. Do you wanna leave the industry? If you've got other skills, lean into those skills and go get a job. If you wanna start your passion project, balance out getting another job or staying in the hospitality industry, focusing on your passion project. Um, there's my two cents on that this week because I wanted to give a different perspective from a staff point of view because the youngsters out there are really having a hard time and I've talked to a lot of them and they don't know, quite know what's going to happen in the next 12 months and I don't blame them. It's difficult to foresee. I can't crystal ball that at all. But there's my two cents, guys. Thanks as always for support. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for listening, Pro Shifters. I well, hope you enjoyed that episode. I really enjoy sitting down with friends and peers and uh, just chatting about the industry and getting down to the nuts and bolts of what's really going on out there. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, everything on all the platforms. Just hit it up and I'll do my best to answer any queries or questions you have. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.